Hi everyone, and welcome back into an all-new episode of the Challenge to Champion show. On today's show, we'll be talking about the concept of unconditional faith. Now, I'm sure you've all heard of the concept of unconditional love, and you're probably wondering about unconditional faith as that isn't a term that's used regularly, or at least as regularly as unconditional love is known across the world. Unconditional faith is something for those of us with life-altering challenges that helps to guide our lives. Some of us, admittedly, take that concept better than others. In my case, and how I came to realize the importance of unconditional faith, it comes with people and experiences that I get to be around day in and day out. Now, the unconditional faith part for me personally is putting my complete faith in people, experiences, and even simply moments that help me be the absolute best that I can be. That's the case because I experience so many ups and downs day to day. And that's not things that necessarily knock me out and completely down for the count type of things, but it's stuff that can just knock me off balance enough to just make experiences that much harder to really be successful at. One of those things, for example, is the unknown of Mother Nature in the winter months. Oh, the winter months and getting around in the snow, they're a challenge for anybody with physical challenges. Now, take part two of that for me personally and professionally being both a broadcaster and a teacher. Both of those fields have instances where my own physical challenges present a roadblock to the ultimate success of both of those professional endeavors. Those aren't significant challenges in terms of if there's an obstacle on either the broadcasting or the teaching side that it's going to completely ruin or alter the way I go about conducting myself professionally and how I choose to personally handle those situations that that expect professional perfection. But what that means in those cases is Am I in an experience or around other people where it's almost acceptable for the other people to step in and do the heavy lifting for me, essentially is what it is. Because as I mentioned with the winter storm, 
earlier, there are times that I get stuck in the snow or I face a real risk of slipping and falling. And in those instances, I have to be prepared to ask for help. So if a situation comes where that's necessary or it's somebody that sees me that's just simply offering their time and effort to to help me, then that's something I need to appreciate and seriously consider and be thankful for. But even more, even more than those, I have to put all of the unconditional faith that I possibly can into that one person because in the winter months when I can feel pretty good about walking or rolling down the sidewalk in my wheelchair but Mother Nature could still snag me and cause me to slip or get stuck. I've got to potentially rely on others to help me out of a jam. Now, most of you people are probably thinking, that's just people. We help each other. And that's true. That's very true, and I am grateful that that's the attitude that people that I've been around in a lot of different experiences over the years have felt that same way. But I've realized through all these experiences that I personally have to put that faith in other people as well as these different experiences that I'm partaking in because of my challenges I can only do so much even though I know exactly how to be successful in both broadcasting teaching, and even just general living life, eventually, me needing help is going to be required. There is no way around it, like it or not. So, in having that unconditional faith concept around others, and experiences it allows me to say you know what I really can do this for myself these people and experiences they're just helping me to ultimately get to that goal of being a success in whatever category of life I'm working on, be it professional, personal, or just simply living life and working towards even more independence. So, this unconditional faith can be a concept that everybody practices. And especially now as we get close to the holidays, that is something that we see. But it's probably not for the average person something that you can consciously think about. It's just more something that you do and hopefully you, you feel good after helping. So I challenge you 
put unconditional faith to work. Put unconditional faith on those that are around you. This isn't an expectation meant to weigh down the other person. It's actually a hope and even a gift to help lift the other person up. Some of those experiences that I've had in teaching, they've actually started with me needing help physically to go from point A to point B or simply to get over some obstacle that is just randomly in my way. People around me have been great about stepping up to help And I put unconditional faith in others because I know there are times that me needing help is non-negotiable. As independent as I am, there are those non-negotiable things that I need backup to be able to even make happen, let alone stand a chance at being successful at. So that's why this unconditional faith is so vital for me. I need and wholeheartedly desire independence but I also realize the expectation and the gift that having people in your corner to back you up really is so when I give this unconditional faith to many different people throughout many different types of experiences and even put all that faith into a specific experience that's me saying I'm here to give you my best I'm here to be as strong and as driven as I possibly can to be as much of a success as I possibly can in whatever the given experience might be whether it's something I've had years of work on with broadcasting I'm still getting my feet wet with teaching or if I'm still spinning my wheels occasionally trying to figure out exactly the best ways to be independent. In all three of those scenarios they require me to have faith in myself first and foremost but then also extend that faith to others and even put that faith into action with experience and hopefully a combination of those three will be what 
ultimately helps for me to be able to have unrivaled success in all aspects of my life. So for the rest of you that might be a little bit skeptical of this concept still, let me just go ahead and leave you with this. At times, you are going to struggle. We all do. No one ever gets through life completely unscathed and without a few bumps to show that they lived through some challenging stuff. Some of us have more of those bumps, scars, bruises than others, but we all have them. So, given that we all have them, if you find yourself in the midst of a challenging time, whatever that challenge is, have faith in yourself first and foremost to overcome it. But even more, if you can find the courage to do so. Have that faith in others. Because what I found from my experience, people want to help. People want to feel like they're doing something to help others be better. And when we help others be better, we also make ourselves better by gifting that to others. It's not common unconditional faith in each other. But unconditional faith in each other can help all of us reach our full potential, look past hardships, bulldoze roadblocks, and then both people or even multiple people and the handful of experiences that follow can end up on the other side with gratitude, courage, and the true feeling of, I made it. I made it. And I truly conquered this challenge. Thanks, everybody, for your time. I hope this was a wonderful episode, albeit a different one, but hopefully still one that was just as impactful as previous ones I've had. If you've liked them, Leave a comment below if you have a YouTube account. If not, and you just simply enjoy these, I hope each and every one of these allows you to be inspired and grow in your own faith and ways of realizing that we can all conquer the hardships we have to live through. 
sometimes. Most of the time, actually. We all just need a little bit of help. And you know what? That's okay. Because it doesn't matter how beat up you are when you cross the finish line. What matters is that you did cross the finish line. And you can stand there after and have a smile on your face at the fact that you did and the fact that you had the experiences and the people surrounding you to get you there. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I will catch you next time for another episode of Challenge to Champion.